Good afternoon. We're so glad here with Daily Vlog. If you like this video, message come back every day. Did you take a nap today? Did you take a nap today? He laid for two hours. Don't look down out of shame. Happy Earth Day. Happy, <laughs> Happy Earth Day. James and that As Sarah shouted just now, he rested for two hours. It's been cold and rainy, and it's supposed to storm until 8 o'clock. There's a Cubs game at 7. They moved it up because of all the it rain. It's supposed to be early today. They moved it to 7. They're back. Back to 7. Don't know if we're going to go. It was looking like maybe, but now the forecast looks like it's supposed to rain till after the game starts. Plus, James just didn't nap. So... But it's the weekend, I'm done with work. I had a, a meeting at 7 a.m. today. But it was a good work day and it's over now. And I'm not gonna think about it until Monday. Do I wanna get my hair cut? That's like, yeah, I guess I could see. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we caught you. <laughs> also, we aren't hoarding um, flavored vodka underneath our table. We have some really cool slides of my dad's families that we've had, I don't know, for a really long time. Um, my parents, I think, got from my grandparents' house. And there's also a projector, like slides, like picture slides. And they're so, so cool, the pictures. And they live in those boxes. And my aunt is actually going to take them and have them digitized so that everybody can have them. Blast from the past. He is so much older than the last time we had this out. And he is loving it. You love it? Yeah. Go in it. <gasps> hey. <laughs> Come inside. There's windows. <laughs> It is quite late in the day for me, still looking like I rolled out of bed. Um, who knows if we'll be leaving the house today or not. I am going to cook some dinner. I haven't done a cook with me in a while. It's a really simple one. Our friend Jackie, she is a pro at shopping at Trader Joe's and she gave me a bunch of suggestions for meat-free like dinner ideas. And already, one thing that she told me was a hit was their Greek chickpeas in a can. Last night I was hungry right before bed and I ate them straight out of the can and they were so good. And so she had suggested something that she does is like put veggies in their miso broth and then cook veggie dumplings right inside for like a veggie soup. So that's what I'm gonna do tonight. Maybe make a little bit of a side pasta dish. Haven't totally decided on that yet because like pasta would typically go in the soup in my eyes, but the dumplings will be like the main part of the soup. So I might do a little side pasta for just a little extra oomph. I told you guys I've been having some nausea aversions to cooking again in the third trimester like I did at the beginning. So I got these ready veggies and I'm going to saute them up and these are gonna be the veggies that are in the soup, as well as an onion. I think maybe just half of this though. So I'm gonna make this in our Dutch oven and I just have some sesame oil heating up. In go my onions. I'm just gonna start them off with some salt. Whoa, start them off with some salt. All right, so the onions were nice and translucent. I did also add in some salt and pepper and dumped on in these veggies. There's carrots and Brussels sprouts and 
cabbage and all sorts of stuff. So I'm gonna just put a little soy sauce on there. You know, you're supposed to season as you cook. Um, so I'm just gonna top it with that to start. Let's get it all nice and tender. I also added in a little bit of crushed red pepper too. Um, I am gonna make a little pasta side dish, but I only have like Italian fettuccine. I don't have like an egg noodle or a rice noodle, but I'm a fan of all noodles. So homemade are much to me, but if I had the others, I'd probably use the others. Christmas movies on. Dinosaurs and Christmas. This is the broth that I got from Trader Joe's. It is totally plant-based, got lots of good flavors in it. I'm just gonna pour the whole carton in there. My pasta is cooking now. And I added a little bit of just plain veggie broth to the soup just because I feel like the soup to veggie ratio wasn't, I want a little bit more broth. So I also added soy sauce. Um, and I'll just like taste it as I go and see what I think. The veggies will like do some nice cooking as it boils, like to give the broth even better flavor than it already has, but I already took a little bite and it tastes really good. And then these are the veggie boiza. So my plan is to let the broth boil and then I'll put those in, cover it, so they can get nice and cooked because those have been frozen. Okay, the dumplings are in. I'm gonna cover this. Check it. I want to check it often because I don't want them to fall apart. Now, great timing. The pasta is done. I'm going to use this Indian style garlic char sauce to basically have a, a base for a pasta sauce. I'm just winging. It already has coconut in it, and so I'm going to do this and then some coconut milk and just kind of see where it goes. I'm not going to use this whole thing, probably like two or three spoonfuls. So I honestly just set a timer for three minutes for the dumplings and they were totally like cooked through but they were still just like a little bit warm. Like I want them to be a little bit more hot but they are totally cooked, like they're not frozen whatsoever. So I did another timer for three minutes. So I would just cook it for six minutes, added the coconut milk, I'm letting the, the sauce for the noodles boil and then simmer just to get a little thicker but it is gonna be a light. A lighter sauce. They'll be ready for dinner. Are you hungry? Yes. I found some friends. Mm hmm. Noodles are a hit over here. How'd you make the sauce? It's delectable. Yeah? yeah. It's an Indian on char garlic sauce with coconut milk. Ooh. And here is how the soup turned out. It was all really, really easy. And like, obviously, I didn't have to prep the veggies. I didn't make the broth. It is just the perfect in-between of wanting to cook at home, but having a little assistance. It's, it was really easy. How's the soup? Delicious. Yeah. Are you, are you okay? All right. Are you asleep with your eyes open? <laughs> you look like a puppy. That's true. I'm not kidding. What? I have an hair appointment for Sunday morning. Another Christmas movie. We just needed it, okay? Need it. <laughs> You're like a big enough kid to actually use this? Oh, you haven't slept all day? You're gonna fall asleep in there, sleep in there all night? Hey, buddy. Oh, so calm. Can I come in? Look at what has returned to the living room. We moved the hope chest to the dining room and we had to find a place for all this stuff. We're also going to do probably a bit of donation, but it'll be a good refresh before the babe arrives. But 
Jamesy was loving that today. If he doesn't play in it, maybe we'll think about not keeping it up, but for now it's back. <laughs> What's going on in there? Why is his black back so splotchy? <laughs> Whoa. 9.32. It's 9.32 p.m. and we finally just dropped our baby into his crib. He has been awake since 7.30 this morning. So hopefully he uh, sleeps through the night. Yeah, he was so tired during dinner, so. He was so tired. He was so tired. We were trying to come down for a nap earlier. He just like He really does. So now... I don't know, Sarah fell asleep. Well, like we jointly tried to put him down together. Sarah fell asleep. He was being a goober. Um, I just fell asleep. Yeah, you were. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't that long. Asleep, though. Um, so I don't know what we're gonna do because it's 9:30. It's the weekend. We're gonna watch Batman. Are we up for it tonight? The Batman's on HBO Max. So look at this. We're all organized. I thought we were gonna need to buy more organization those are a little it's not perfect at the moment everything's not perfectly in line but it's a big a big change this whole section is totally new you have this like little i don't know what would you call that like a garage situation all of our vehicles all of our blocks are now in our our um radio flyer do you like the new setup all switched around and fresh and then there'll be plenty of room for Teddy to play, James to play, us to play. That is my weighted blanket in there right now. We kind of wanted to refresh so we washed the yellow blanket. There's new plushies in there. It's so cute and then this kind of needs to like de-wrinkle itself. Alrighty, we're finally gonna watch it. Alrighty, we actually finished the movie. I'm very proud of us. Very proud of me for not falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> we really did enjoy it. I feel like it felt like an older Batman compared to like Dark Knight. I don't know. Do you agree? Yeah. Um, but really good. And I hope there's more. So here's our daily message before we sign off. Don't ever give up on life. Life can be so beautiful, especially after you've spent a lot of time with it. Yoko Ono, on Earth Day. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.